Hi, my name is Reiner Stropik. I'm an Azure MVP from Austria, and I've written. <coughs> and because I received the question a few days ago, I have written a short little prototype implementation of an SSIS data store for SQL Azure. Uh, sorry, for Windows Azure tables. What I want to do is I want to take a Windows Azure table and transfer it using SQL Server integration services into a SQL Server database. Here you see my sample table, it's just in development storage just for demonstration purposes. You see I used various data types on, on this table, integer, string, binary, date time, all this stuff. And this is the table that I want to transfer to, to SQL Server. So let's go with this one. I create a new project, SSIS project, creation services project, click on OK. And here in the data flow tab, you see this newly created data source. It's called Azure Table Storage Source. Uh, if you take my source code and compile it, and then you have to choose, choose items here. And when you run the data source for the first time on your machine, you have to click on SSIS Data Flow Items and uh, select this checkbox here, Azure Table Storage Source. I've done that already, so I can just drag it over. Oh, sorry. I have to create the data flow task first. Here it is. Double click it, Azure Table Store, Azure Table Storage Source. You see, you can define the storage connection string here. It's, uh, here it says use development storage equals true, but you can enter any uh, storage connection string uh, similar in the way that you do it in your CS config file. Here I specify the table name. Uh, this one is called my first table. Enter it. What the system does now, it reads up the first row in this table and uh, it assumes that all the rows in the table have the same number of columns and the same column types. This is a restriction, but if you can, if you take a look at my source code, I'm quite sure that you can change the, the data source appropriately if you need to. Click on OK. That's fine. Of course, we could do all the nice little transformations that SSIS has been built for, but for this, for the course of this demo, I will just take this one, uh, select. No, I don't have already a database connection. Select a database connection. Ah, this was fine for demo purposes. I can click on New, and the system uh, reads all the the data types from the underlying Azure Table Store, and I can just say, this is my. Azure table target, click on OK, table's been created, mappings, let's go with the default mappings, and well, I mean that's it, I click on run, the system reach, reads the Azure table storage sources, and maybe I can show you the result, uh, I called it like star from Azure table target, hit F5, no, I called it something else. Let me see. I call it. And I'm in the wrong database. I'm very sorry. It's early in the morning here in Frankfurt. <laughs> Hit on F5. And you see, everything's fine. Even the binary column is there. Everything's fine. I hope this data source is interesting for you. You can take it and build upon it. And yeah, I wish you a nice day. Bye.